Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. And uh, me, honestly, I'm doing very well now. Very, very well. Why is that? Because I just went to the massage. But normal massage, huh? don't try to sing too much. And uh, okay, this place here, um, it's a place that is a big, big market, you know. And around this place, that's why I'm telling you this, because it's the kind of place when you are coming to China, you need to check this kind of place. So you can see, uh, let me go outside, I will show you. You can see when you are there outside, uh, this kind of old street, old building, the rent is very low. And what you can see over there is, um, because it's like this, you have all kind of small businesses and independent businesses. So some people who do, for instance, the construction work or decoration, the small restaurant, the delivery food. This guy here where I am, it's something new. They are the younger guys. They did some franchise of pizza. He's doing the pizza himself, okay? And you also have the massage. Of course, you have some of them is really the prostitution. Uh, you need to be wary. Don't go there. It's the, just the disease. And these girls, they will just, okay, they get paid uh, quite a lot of money and all day it will be like, okay, uh, uh, open your leg, open your leg, open your leg, open your leg, you know, so it's terrible. And don't go there. But however, you also have the one that will really do the massage. Today I went to the massage place. Look at this, it's quite funny, it's the pizza. Okay, you see this is doing the, the pizza. You see? <laughs> they have the pizza oven and everything, it's really funny. Anyway, so um, I went to this place and, uh, and uh, I was quite happy with it because, um, because uh, this was very good, she was really a professional and I discussed a little bit and she told me she has been doing this for since the age of 23. Uh, judging for, from her face, I think she was probably she was probably uh, 40 years old or 42 years old, and um, really I advise you this. And because it's this kind of area, this kind of surrounding, the price was also very low. It only cost it only cost 40 yuan. It only cost 40 yuan, uh, so it's very cheap. So it's very cheap. Uh, so this is what I want to tell you. Um, so if you come to China, <laughs> if you come to China, uh, and look, I paid for this. Well, it's not much, but it's a pizza. It's 35 yuan for this. Honestly, most of the time I will not pay that much for the lunch, but I, I would rather eat this, 35 yuan, maybe it's the same than a Subway, at the Subway. You know, you can eat at Subway or you can eat at KFC, it will be the same price. Okay. Anyway, uh, so, and, and today what I want uh, to tell you is about love in China, the leftover Chinese woman. You know, there's something that uh, I discussed with you a few times, I told you about, about this. There are quite a few women here in China, if they cannot marry before the age of 30, 35, they are the leftover Chinese woman. It means they are never able to find a husband. Why is that? Because the men um, do not want uh, to marry with them because they get too old. And the men, and they are, in fact, they are the women who have high expectations. Let me explain this, and in fact, quite often you say, they are the leftover woman. In fact, they are not the leftover woman. They choose to be leftover. They choose to be leftover. And that's the big difference. They choose to be leftover. They are not the leftover woman. They choose to be leftover. They studied. They are the woman who studied. They have a job. They have a lot of money. They are making a good salary. They don't care, they don't care, they don't need the money of a man, they don't need a man, they already have the money, they already have some income. Um, they don't want the kids, these women don't want the kids, they don't care whatever the family tells them, they don't care about it. So they don't want the kids, so they don't need the man for the kid. They don't need the man for the money because they already make the salary and in fact these women, many of them, they have a higher salary than the men, so they are, they are very wealthy. So why should they be with a man who will make less money than them and they will have to give the money to this man? No reason. There is no reason. And uh, the only thing that they might need, okay, is maybe the sex life. But the sex life you can always find, especially in the big cities. So these women, they are more and more. And this is a new trend. Before you would say, this was, there was the leftover woman, there was the woman who could not find a husband. Okay? They could not find a husband who would provide for them. Now these women, they do not want to find a husband. So the leftover woman is changing, is changing. Before it was the leftover woman, the woman who cannot find a husband. Because they are too old and the rich man, the man who can provide, 
they were the men were married a younger woman and were fetch a younger woman younger beautiful fresh but now these leftover women they choose to be left over they take this decision they do not want to marry and this is something that you can see already in singapore in the city in the in singapore this has already been happening for for many years and what and this is a big issue for china because it means less and less chinese people will marry less and less chinese people will have kids what is going to happen how will china deal with it to be more and more will it be like in japan or are they going to ask foreigners to come in how are they going to do how is xi jinping going to do or maybe the next one the next president going to do you know uh, this is the real issue and it's happening now and again these women they choose not to marry they choose not to have children they choose uh they don't want they don't need the man they don't need the man for the money they don't need the man for the kids they don't need the man for the sex they don't need so that's how it is now okay let me leave you goodbye everyone <laughs> au revoir thank you for watching